Recovery has become a very big buzzword in sports nutrition, and the biggest question I get from endurance athletes is, what is recovery, and is there really this two-hour window of opportunity after I finish training? So the answer is yes, there is a two-hour window of opportunity, and really it's very specific to endurance athletes. So one of the first things people should do to start the recovery process is to drink some sort of fluid that contains carbohydrate. And that's because after getting off the bike for three, five hours, after running for three hours, sometimes you just don't feel hungry. And so it's easier just to drink fluids. An example of a fluid that contains plenty of carbohydrate would be something like chocolate milk. Post-race, it's really important to not just take in carbohydrate, but again, it's important to take in the right amount of carbohydrate. So that number is really going to be a range, which is one to 1.2 grams per kilogram of body weight. Well, endurance athletes that are out there cycling and swimming for multiple hours, most likely you're gonna be burning protein as fuel in addition to carbohydrate. So you're really gonna to need to take in protein after an event lasting multiple hours to help also repair and rebuild and restore protein in your body. So the amount of protein that you want to take in or consume is 20 to 25 grams at one time. Spreading it out over hours is not as effective for replenishing, restoring, rebuilding protein in your body. So 20 to 25 grams really is an important number to remember and to consume at one time. In terms of the recovery process and protein in particular, if I'm choosing a type of protein or a recovery product that contains protein, the most important thing is to check the label and make sure you're getting close to three grams of leucine. Leucine is important because it stimulates the whole recovery process in terms of building and repairing new proteins. Optimal protein choices are something we hear a lot about whey protein, and so you can find that in um, a commercially available beverage. You can mix the powder into water, into milk. You can, again, drink chocolate milk that has protein in it. Um, those are all sources of protein. What's really important is the amount of protein. So I, I still recommend that immediately after finishing a race or competition, fluids might just be easier, and it starts that recovery process. But after that two-hour window, and you get back to your regular meal pattern, you can certainly consume any sort of dietary source of protein, which would be chicken, fish, and eggs. So for chicken or fish, that's about three, three to four ounces, would give you that 20 to 25 grams of protein. One egg, and the protein is in the white of the egg, gives you six grams. So you might have to make yourself a nice omelet with, with several eggs.